just up to the right here. Let's go and have a look. We're in East Lothian overlooking the Firth of Forth and the town of Dunbar. You can see the Bash Rock just peeping out over the left there and swinging round Dunbar itself, the Isle of May in the distance, and then looking out over the Firth of Forth into the North Sea. Day. We're in between two storms here. It's supposed to get windy later. Uh, trip hazard. You scoot across the cut grid. The entrance. It's a lovely place. Here we come to Dune Hill. Uh, from memory, there's not a huge amount to see here, but I think it's all about location and historical interest. And here we are, Dune Hill. Six thousand years ago. Interesting. So it seems like the first thoughts about this site when it was discovered through aerial photography was that the first halls were built about AD 550 and then about AD 638. But subsequently they've carbon dated some of the pottery and it seems to be 6,000 years old in places. The main site is encircled by a wooden palisade and as we come on through we have the concrete markers showing both the first hall and the second hall about four and a half thousand years apart. There are lots of great sites around here. I was down on the coast the other day, fantastic. People go surfing, climbing, wonderful walking. So much to see and do in this part of the world. Quite a contrast in this area though, looking down onto cement works down on the coast there and then just over to the right slightly got the bulk Torness nuclear power station. It's a better view of the Bass Rock, famous around the world for the number of seabirds, notably northern gannets that congregate here from the early spring onwards, another few weeks and the rock begins to turn white. If you're ever up here and you get the opportunity to take the boat trip and sail around the Bash Rock, do it. Well, that's another interesting site, ticked off the list. Lots to see in East Lothian. 